Krishna Prem is the ultimate goal of life. Uh, generally, in the mundane platform, uh, there are four objectives of life. When one leads his life on the mundane platform, then uh, there are four uh, objectives of life. There are Dharma, Artha, Kam, and Moksha. The cultivation or performance of religious activities according to the scriptures, uh, which generates piety. And the piety is like the subtle wealth. When one has piety, one can fulfill his desire, calm. And then after fulfilling all his desires, still he becomes frustrated in this material nature, considering that, you know, this place is full of suffering. He wants to get out of the material nature, which is called liberation. So dharma, artha, kam and moksha are considered to be chatur varga, the four vargas, the four goals of life. But this Krishna Prem is beyond that. So that is called the fifth uh, ultimate uh, achievement. Pancham Purushartha, the ultimate goal is actually Krishna Prem. Even liberation is not the goal. Beyond liberation is Krishna Prem. So uh, this is how uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, established that pure devotion of Krishna is the goal of life. And he, then, his point, then he pointed out that as long as the desire for enjoyment in the material nature and even liberation from material bondage is there, one cannot get this Krishna Prem. Bhukti Mukti Pishachi Jabad Ridi Tishthati. This desire for bhukti, enjoyment in the material nature and liberation, freedom or mukti, freedom or liberation from material bondage has, has have been compared to a witch, Pishachi. So as long as that remain in the heart, pure devotion to the Lord will not be available. Therefore, uh, it has been very, very emphatically pointed out, get rid of this desire for material enjoyment and even liberation. In some other place, it has been pointed out in Chaitanya Charitamrita that this uh, uh, karma kanda, which is leading to or which is proposing uh, enjoyment in the material nature, and jnana kanda, which is actually promoting the concept of liberation, these two scriptures or these two aspects of the Vedas are like two pots of poison. Karmakanda, Ganakanda, although they are parts of the Vedas, uh, two very important aspects of the Vedas. Karmakanda, Ganakanda. Kebali Bisharobhanda, they are just two pots of poison. Mistaking them to be nectar, if one drinks, then he is doomed. Tarjanma Adhapatajan. So this is how. It has been very emphatically pointed out uh, that a devo pure devotee or a devotee should not aspire or desire for enjoyment in this material nature or lib even liberation from material bondage. And then one gets pure devotional service. 